So now we're going to move to sections 2.2 to 2.4 where we introduce a new style of proof called an equational style of proof. So this is a different method of proof which I think you will like a lot better than a Hilbert style proof simply because it's not as rigid and doesn't follow the rules as specifically. Um, and this is still a valid method of proof which is derived again from meta theorems that we're going to look at. So the learning outcomes for this or these sections in this class is to be able to write equational style proofs for equivalences of formulae or any well-formed formula and to be able to recognize the difference between Hilbert style proofs and equational style proofs. Okay, so let's have a look at what we mean by an equational style proof. So an equational style proof is a proof that consists of simply a series of equivalences. Okay, so this is an equational style proof in Hilbert form. So it just simply has at each step of the Hilbert proof an equivalence. And also, what's important here is that we're establishing a series of equivalences. So A1 equivalent to A2, A2 equivalent to A3, A3 equivalent to A4, all the way up to An minus 1 equivalent to An, and An equivalent to An plus 1. So this is the form of an equational style proof. And as you can imagine, we will want to use the transitivity of the equivalence operator to conclude essentially that A1 is equivalent to An plus 1. And that is the first meta theorem we want to look at to establish the form of equational style proof that we're going to use that will be more simple and simpler and not as rigid as this Hilbert style form. So the meta theorem that I'm talking about is taking each step of this Hilbert style proof as assumption. So if we know A1 is equivalent to A2, A2 is equivalent to A3, and An is equivalent to An plus 1. So if we have all of this, then we can conclude that A1 is equivalent to An plus 1. And this, the proof of this is simply to apply the transitive property of equivalence a number of times. So recursively at each step, we continue to apply it to conclude that A1 is equivalent to An plus 1. The following corollary, so a simple extension of this meta theorem, says that if we simply replace these assumptions by assumptions gamma, then we have the statement gamma proves A1 equivalent to An plus 1. So here we're simply assuming that gamma is a series of equivalences. And then finally, an additional corollary that follows from this, which is also a meta theorem, is that in an equational style proof from assumptions gamma, we have that gamma proves A1 if and only if gamma proves An plus 1. So here, this is where we have this outside connection, so in the meta theory we have this connection that you had noticed between equivalences and the biconditional operator, the if and only if operator. Formally we don't have the if and only if within our logic, and formally they're not equivalent statements, they don't have the same exact meaning, but they do have the same truth values. So, this corollary here follows from this corollary where gamma is a series of equivalences just as before and also an application of EQM. So to prove this you would assume this, prove that, and then vice versa, assume this and prove this. And so using this we can apply EQM to get that result. Right, so we can conclude the bottom, right? So gamma proves A1, so we have this is our numerator, and also we know gamma proves A1 is equivalent to An plus 1. Then we can conclude An plus 1, and vice versa. So just two simple applications of EQN allows us to prove this corollary. So essentially now what this corollary is saying is that we don't always use equational style proofs to establish an equivalence between two well-formed formula, but even though an equational style proof does establish an equivalence, this result tells us that to prove any well-formed formula, we need to simply start with something that can be proven from our assumptions, whether that's an absolute theorem, an axiom, one of our hypotheses, 
for a relative theorem dependent upon gamma, if we start with one of those and can show that it is equivalent to the well-formed formula we're trying to prove, then this well-formed formula we get is also a gamma theorem. Okay, so here's the theory behind it in, in the meta theory. What's really important is simply that you know how to write equational style proofs and what they look like. So in the next video, we'll look at different applications and different forms of the equational style proof. Um, but before we do that, let's just look at the way that we're going to write an equational style proof to make it a bit more straightforward, less writing, and so on. So instead of having to write the Hilbert style proof where we establish these equivalences at each step, we're going to start with A1, for example. Use this biconditional operator, which is in the meta theory. It's not an operator within our logic. This simply stands for the equivalent. So you can see that they're tied together, but we don't actually use this within our logic. But nonetheless, we're going to use this one as standard and familiar to you to establish the equivalences between well-formed formula without having to repeat these things each time. So we can just write a well-formed formula, identify why it's equivalent to the next step, and again, identify why it's equivalent to the next well-formed formula, and so on until we get the well-formed formula we're trying to prove. Okay, so now we're ready to go to the next video where we look at some concrete well, somewhat concrete examples, different layouts of this proof method.